Defense made a motion for a mistrial. Prosecutor was up to some fuckery. Potentially damaging evidence, no basis for it. The judge specifically said, do not ask that question. Do not use that as evidence. She walked right down the path and asked the question. It may be over on Tuesday morning. Batman Bruce Wayne bitch snitch. Gerald Brooks, your constitution does not apply to me because I'm a sovereign citizen, a traveler on the land. I'm the Korean Empire or whatever. Because there's something fucking absurd. If you want to be a sovereign citizen, just do yourself a favor first. Go to YouTube here and binge again. Every sort of sovereign citizen that's ever been before. Find me one that you want. God dang, you're right. Don't go down this. It's not the Some clever dick on the internet didn't find the great loophole in all of the world's law. Brands. Bitch snitch. Brands. God dang, you're right. Brands. Brands. God dang, you're right. Brands. Brands. Traveler on the land. Empire Brands. Traveler on the land Bitch snitch Moorish Empire Brands. God dang, you're right Brands. Traveler on the land Brands. Bitch snitch Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, everybody. Whoever you are, whatever you are, whatever you are, whatever you're doing, whoever you are, et cetera, et cetera. I'm, I was thrown off my game there, so let's just bag that stupid intro. Uh, welcome to Legal Vices. That's me, my little old channel. And uh, today we are going through the first hearing of the What the Hales trial, where we've got uh, our super special, amazing, wonderful, never, never to be taken for granted, Megan Fox waiting backstage. We'll bring her up as soon as we clear off all of the uh, the housekeeping stuff at the beginning of the show. Uh, let's see. What do we need to do? Hi, everybody. I guess that's about it. Uh, <laughs> there's not really much else to talk about. I got 176 of you here right off the bat. Okay. Strawberry, get out from underneath the desk. You cannot keep kicking the camera, you idiot. All right. It's going to be one of those streams, is it? All right. Oh, we've just lost Megan Fox. Come back, Megan. <laughs> Um, right. So we got 188 of you here, 84 likes, 100. If you haven't done your job, get down there and smash that like button. We haven't done anything to uh, make you like the stream yet. We've probably done a lot to make you not like the stream so far, but, uh, you, we're going to do something. We're going to do something that's going to make you like it. So we'll get it out of the way right now. So you never have to worry about it again. And hit that subscribe button. I'm so grateful for all you new people coming in from the, uh, what the hails that have subscribed over the last day. Thank you so much. Your support is so, so much appreciated. Keep keep subscribing and uh, keep hitting that like button and take our like and subscribe poll. Today, is it's an informational thing for me. The, you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, then vote. How long have you been following this thing? You've followed uh, What the Hails Forever? Since this case became news, since DUI, Megan, and Tug covered it, and your noobs ride along with me. Those are your choices. I didn't have time to... To uh, do the stash today. That's pretty, pretty sad. All right. So those are your choices. I, this is just informational for me to see how many of you are up to speed and well beyond my 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 realm of learning, or how many of you are just stumbling along with me. So thank you very much for that. Hit the like and subscribe button. Let me know what you think. And let's see. Coming up right after this, we're going to do this for two hours. Then we're going to roll into the Hannah Gutierrez trial. That should be wrapping up in the next day or two. And uh, follow me there. Once we're done. All uh, righty, that's that's it. Let's bring up Megan Fox. Hi, Megan Fox. How are you? Good morning, Jeff. How are you? Oh, it's evening, so I'm doing well. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's nighttime for you. It's it the is. ass crack of dawn for me. 
uh, but okay, mm. yes, eight a.m. I'm 8 a. running around. That that's the ass crack of dawn, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> All well, right. So remember how I said that I was going to um, make timestamps for you? Yeah, we're just going to watch it. Oh, okay. or you did make I, it. Or you did I, make it. I, I, no, I didn't. But okay. then MG I, Law did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we do have timestamps. But it is a two. What you want to probably do is on part one. Do you have the yeah. links? Did I send you the I, links? I, I, I do. On part one, there's probably only one part we need to watch on that. So then we can just skip ahead to part two. Um, well, I think I kind of think it's important to watch the boring stuff, too, so we don't get the idea that he just does nothing but rage at people and do dumb shit. Because from, from what I saw, there's there's some things that he, he should be commended for doing, I think. Yeah, like I thought he was going to be normal in the beginning, except I know how this ends. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I thought we just like watch part watch half of it today and then I'll do half of it again tomorrow. Oh, all right, that works. Uh, That's but, fine. Yeah, okay. But, you, know, you know, I was thinking about that, and I just think if we get the whole thing, if we can, because there, there's some good, there's some bad, there's some neutral. So it's not just like all bad. Like, oh my god, how can anyone stomach this guy for five minutes? There, he has bouts of sanity. <laughs> there, uh, there's, I, there's I would like to have outbreaks. the video. I would like yeah. to have the video of all the people that he adjudicated before this one. Mm. Uh, it, that day, I would like to see how much time he wasted with his endless pontification on bullshit. <laughs> oh my god! Because this dude, no, all he does, don't, don't die, <laughs> Jeff. Don't die. Don't die. We need you. Um, this guy just has a lot of words to communicate small things, and I think that part of his problem ah. is he he just doesn't run his courtroom very well. Are you all right? I no, I just laced the side of my finger open really long and really deep about halfway what? from my first knuckle to the end of my index finger because I was putting away this stupid gin mini bottle and I got sliced on the damn metal burr sticking out of the side. Oh, no. At least it, at, at least it's uh, disinfected right out of the bottles. So <laughs> yeah, well, that's <laughs> true. That. Do you need to go get a Band-Aid? Nope. See, it was nice because it was just a straight little like razor slice, so it's kind of stuck together already. Did no. you hear the news last night that I dropped on Tug Show? No. All what right, news well, did this, you drop on Tug Show? Well, this is some interesting stuff, Jeff. So our right. our sainted Judge De Thomasis. Yes. He has a problem <laughs> because really the hell you he say has, he has a bigger problem, and that bigger problem is that we caught him and five other judges who are currently sitting on the bench in the Eighth Circuit and some DAs. And a couple of uh, defense yeah. lawyers who we give a pass to because they'll defend anybody. But this group of people in the Eighth Circuit went to bat for a fellow prosecutor who was literally caught peeping at a woman filming her at a tanning salon mm. over the top. Oh, of yeah, the you thing. told me yesterday. Yeah. Well, it so I got the Supreme Court document that had the hearing for the bar on oh, it, oh and my. it had all of their testimony for their character witnesses for this guy. His name was, mm. we call him William Wretched Ezel. His name was Richard, or William Ezel, and mm. he, uh, he had five judges and a bunch of DAs go to the bar and speak on his behalf. Well, Judge DeThomasis was one of one of them, and his exact quote was, "I don't think this gives a black eye to the to the to the uh, to the law. This is not a black eye on the you know what is the what do you call it? The Are you sure he didn't mean to say profession? black guy? This isn't a black <laughs> guy, and the transcript just got it wrong. <laughs> Are you sure that wasn't it's it? not a black <laughs> eye on the profession. What?" Yeah. A, a prosecutor victimizing yeah. a woman in a in a tanning salon is not a black eye on the <clears throat> profession of law. How do you see yeah. that, Jeff? And well, and see that's the thing when you're when you're a judge, especially when you're a judge, but even when you're when you're a prosecutor, just regular Joe schmo, you're held to a higher standard of ethics and behavior than normal people. You have conduct unbecoming that applies to you not only when you're acting as a lawyer, but also when you're out on the street, because you are still representing the legal profession when you're just being Joe Blow going to Walmart. And exactly. that's, that's why lawyers get disciplined all the time for, you know, berating waitress staff. You know, I mean, just like doing just being a jackass in public. And people go, oh, he, he's a lawyer. Yeah, that figures. And a yeah, bunch of them said. Yeah. If this was his private time, 
And he literally <laughs> said he it did certainly this wasn't on her private time, was it? <clears throat> nope. So today yeah. on my program, when we watch hearing number two, I'm going to be building a um a tanning salon out of Legos that's gonna connect to my courthouse. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna build nice. the it's going to connect. I knew that I was going to connect something to it because I made a little connection point here. And now I know what I'm going to connect to it. It's going to be a little tanning salon with a couple of tanning rooms and a little lawyer standing on a chair, peeping over with his little uh, sel selfie stick and a cell phone. That's what I'm going to build today while we're watching hearing. Number 12 year old, late 12 year old Megan Fox, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Do you now know why I wasn't liked in school very much? Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, we got Spy Gal, who is our newest member. Spy Gal 92, thank you so much for being the newest member of the Clean and Sober crew. Deeply, deeply appreciate that. And Lacey Ann kicking us off with a $5 super sticker of, it looks like a flower flexing. It says boss. It's uh, something pink-headed and flexing. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but yeah, oh, look boss. At your thumbnail. Your thumbnail is perfect again. Yeah. See, that's. Uh, that, why is that happening for you? And <clears throat> I, I can't get it to make one for me. Well, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about the thumbnail here in just a quick second. But um, Yoda's had a bad day. So we're going to do what? something with it. Well, because uh, it, it's take care of Yoda day. So you, you had, both dogs have have uh, atopic eczema. So oh, they, right. that's why they, that's why they look like they're shot. It looks like they're riddled with bullet holes because the, they their hair falls off the in little patches. Yeah. yeah. So we had to had to wash that wipe that down with the uh, was it the uh, hexadrine or whatever the hell like iodine. Had to do that. Then have to put their uh, little unguent on it. Then we had to clean out their tail folds and his tail folds and creases and disinfect that. Then we had to brush his teeth. Then we had to treat his ear infections. <laughs> so he, like literally every part of his poor stupid little body has been prodded Aww. and poked. And of course Yoda, well, Strawberry sees me bring the the tray of 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 things. You know, it's like fuck this shit. I'm out and runs and hides behind the bed in the bedroom. It just barely came out now, and this was an hour ago. Uh, so what we're gonna do is every fifty dollars. Every fifty dollars super chat that comes in, we'll throw some snacks to the dogs. That's the, that's the deal. We, we, we'll do doggo snack day. Every fifty that comes in, we'll throw some throw doggo some snacks snack to the dogs. Day. Um, let's see what else we got. Okay, again, everybody that's just joining us, we got four hundred people here and two hundred less than two hundred likes. Hit the like button. Just keep keep hitting that like button as you come in. And it, well, you're not going to hear that, are you? Because you're going to come in after I just said that. But mods, just keep reminding people so I don't have to. Let's keep the keep the. Uh, the likes up and keep the subscriptions coming. You guys are seriously some of the best people. And I, I just want to say thanks to all of the people that have, that have followed the, what the hails forever. It's like it, they're, whenever some new person sticks their nose in, in your particular business, you're like, you dumbass, you don't know anything about what's going on and you'd be pretty damn mean, but you guys have been super, super nice, super, super educational. Your comments, yeah, several hundred comments on the video we did yesterday. And there, there's only one that said, is this guy still begging for money and subs? <laughs> other, other than that, that was literally the only bad comment. And, and lots of them were, were very, 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 very kind, very, very explanatory. So thank you so much for, for treating me with kid gloves as I come up to speed. Uh, right. I guess that's it. Yeah, the, hills, <laughs> we, the Hills have a really nice uh, following. They do. Everybody Seriously. has been super sweet, super kind. I've gotten a whole bunch of new people send me emails and tips and things and they're just, they've just been super nice. What a nice group of people he has, really. Yeah, I, I can't can't say enough about them. They're super, super great people. Uh, today, we're going to go back to the first hearing. The first hearing, uh, see, people have been calling him Grudge Judge. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm on a quest to flip that. I'm on a quest to call him Judge Grudge because it has more <laughs> of the villain feel to it. So that's that's why I made the, uh, the, the thumbnail for today, the... Where did it go? Yeah, it's the the what the hails first hearing in Judge Grudge's villain origin story. <laughs> I think uh, I'm the one who calls him Grudge Judge, and Jeremy calls him Judge Grudge, which is funny. Yeah, okay, that's um, what I thought. We, it's, it's, we it's, came it's, up with it on on when we were yeah. I was interviewing the Hales and we were telling jokes, and I, I and I said Gr he's the Grudge Judge, and it just stuck in my head that way. Yeah. Um, he needs to be Judge Grudge. It's, it's, <laughs> I, I like I like the villain, and that's what this one. I was a little bit more specific with. Uh, th this was on uh, Microsoft's Copilot. I did this one with. It, it was just something like angry judge, angry bald judge with tufts of hair. 
in, in Marvel comic book style. And this is what I got. Perfect. It's perfect. Oh, there, there, there's like seven more that are already locked and loaded that are great. So yeah, this is this is the uh, Judge Grudge villain origin story. How did he go from the mild mannered judge to uh, what we see today? That's we're we're gonna follow that. <laughs> we're gonna follow that little journey here. I don't know and, if he's ever been mild mannered, but he started out, I guess, sort of a little bit like that. Oh, and and oh, while I was busy cutting my finger open, as as you as you guys know, some of you may know, I, I was off in China for last Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, just hanging out with my with my dear dear friend Abby, who's been living there forever, known each other for a bunch of years. She was on my stream a while ago. We did a how to drink whiskey stream together. Uh, I went over there to uh, drink some booze in China for the for the weekend, and she gave me these these uh, gin. It's it's a it's a rosa gin. It's, it's like a pink gin from some Spanish speaking country. I'm not sure which. There's the uh, the country of origin is in Chinese on the back, so. It's from somewhere that speaks Spanish, <laughs> and I just made a lovely pink gin and tonic out of that. It's my, it's my my little gin and tonic that I'll be sipping on today because you need alcohol with this judge, I think. <laughs> we all need a bourbon when we're watching this judge. <clears throat> so, yeah, th thanks, Abby, for the gin. I'm putting it to good use today. Uh, all right, let's bring up part one. This is 17 minutes and three seconds long, and thank you very much to Megan for providing this to me. So that we could we could watch it together, and I'm sure some of you have seen this 847 thousand times, and just so just so you know that I'm not the guy that's like still begging for money and subs, so, <laughs> it's the uh, super chants are not required. They're they're not expected, but they are graciously and gratefully received and accepted from the bottom of my heart. The only real difference is it, it, not only does it help the channel, but it also guarantees that you get your comment noticed, read, and responded to. Otherwise, we try to uh, pick stuff up uh, in the chat as it goes along. But when there's so many people here, chat goes by so fast, and I miss the vast majority of it. So if there's something you really want to get off your shoulders or ask or say, just kind of you know put it up there in a super chat. Or if you just want to support the channel, do that as well. Thank you very much. And we will unleash the doggo cam at a hundy, and we'll start feeding them at fitty, and we'll go from there. Oh, all right, everybody, sit back in your chair, grab your popcorn, your pancakes, whatever you've got, pull up some, pull up some stuff if you're, if you're just here, you know, whatever it is, settle in and listen to the dulcet tones of Lynette as she explains herself to the judge. <laughs> the dulcet tones of Lynette. Hmm. Here, if I'm getting to your case here in just a moment. Gonna... Now they, they mentioned this delay. If I recall what you were saying on Tug Show this morning, yesterday, you know, yesterday evening for you, I guess this was. They made them wait for four hours. Yeah, they got called in. To, to, their hearing was supposed to be at one o'clock. He did not call them to start talking to him until three, and then he spent an hour talking at them instead of or talking to Lynette. <laughs> without listening to respondent and respondent never gets a chance and neither do his witnesses yeah. who waited for four hours just to be told they couldn't testify. And at this point, she is not represented by a lawyer. Right. She, she's going pro se. As they say, it's a fool who has himself for a client. So mm -hmm. strike one. <laughs> Here strike we go. one. Yeah. Sense of where we're at. 38, 2023 DR416. Lynette Preston and Jeremy Hales. Now, in case people are wondering why there's this empty black box up here, this would be like normally where there might be a jury monitor or a jury cam, but there's no jury here to, to monitor. The, you can see the jury box down here in the bottom right square. So normally this is this is for, for a jury or something else that's going on up here. So that's why it's just blank. They just have them focused on the judge, the uh, the plaintiff, and the respondent. To your, to your left. Good afternoon, Your Good Honor. afternoon. If you can state your name for the record and mine as well. Mark Feather, on behalf of Jerry, Jeremy Hales, who is present for the record, Your Honor. Ah, this is when uh, Mr. Feather was no, still involved. Recording these proceedings, I just want to reflect that you're present. State your name. Jeremy Hales. Good afternoon, <clears> sir. Preston, likewise, if you could just announce your presence, come to the podium. Give me a minute. Lynette Preston. <laughs> okay. All right. So we are here, and I want to just address procedurally 
where we're at and where we may be going here today. Um, okay, he's still a mild mannered judge and, here. Um, we determined we've got two matters. We're one minute and 12 seconds in, and I have no complaints yet. <laughs> may be litigated. I don't know if this one is. So let me just start with the premise that there's a the case that's on the docket is 38 2023 DR 416. Okay, it is a petition for injunction against stalking filed September 7. This court entered an order on that same date setting hearing on 9 13, extended the order setting hearing because of problems with service. October 11 entered a second extended order setting hearing because of service issues, and on October 26 entered a third extension. That's a lot of extensions for a, for a restraining order or and, you know, prohibition. Um, today's the return date on that. Especially Subsequent temporary ones. That, but with no action taken as a supplemental petition filed on October 30th, some 338 pages in length, which did not change the posture of the case from okay, that's the, that's the judge telling Lynette that she, she submitted 338 pages of a waste of time. The question is twice whether the petitioner is seeking a final judgment of injunction and whether we're all prepared to proceed here today. So let me just clarify. Spoiler for, alert, we're for not that. apparently. Ms. Preston, are you seeing? Oh, they a are, but the judge, yeah. yes, and it's just too to slow today. Yes, all right, we're going to get back to that question in just a second, and then Mr. Feather. And I couldn't get back to you sooner, but I want you to know I, re I reviewed the cases that you submitted or the authority that you intend to rely on if we proceed to hearing here today. But the other issue that was raised is, and I and I just want to is that you you may be seeking what's phrased as copies of the petitions, plural, seeking an injunction previously filed against Mr. Hales. And so I am aware that there was a prior petition, uh -huh. one in number 38-2023-DR-276 from June 5 that was denied. And under the statute, denial of entry um, without service upon the respondent rem remains, remains sealed and, and confidential, which is why I would presume that, that you didn't get access to that from the clerk. Yes, sir. That's right. Are, are you, I guess I want to just hear from you if you think that there's more. And then the other component is whether you have had access to, because petitions, there's a petition. Now, come on, people. I think, I, I think you're, I think you're catfishing me here. He seems like a great guy. He seems like a very friendly old man explaining stuff to, to, to the party. Again, as we talked about yesterday, normally, especially in, in smaller towns, smaller counties, when someone's not represented by a lawyer, the, the judge tends to be a little more lenient, a little more explanatory, gives them a little more leeway on the rules. They tend to be more strict on the pro se people in big cities because they just fuck it. I mean, intercoursing waste your time. Uh, so he, he's, he's, he seems to be a, a nice, nice, mild mannered judge. I'm still waiting for the still waiting for the, 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 the villain moment. <laughs> I'm in still waiting case, for him to let the DR people in front of him talk. Supplemental petition in this same case. So it's 50 pages. When does that happen? It's September 7, and there's 338 pages from the October 30th. Do you at least have those? Yes, Your Honor. And access to that. Those. Okay. I have all of those. We've been able to review those materials. All right. So I thought that the other, you know, as is required, um, the, uh, the petitioner must identify other uh, petitions, other uh, injunctions that were sought. And so, and so that was alleged here. I should have put the S in parentheses because I don't know how many, but I do know that in her cover sheet, she indicated, or, or no, in the petition itself, she indicated that she had sought petitions before against my client. Right. Which I is, think that's which on the is, second this, or third page. I, I could tell you that, and I and I think because I'm looking, it's the same. It's the same date. Um, okay. June June five petition order denying June five. And so, so we had contacted the clerk when doing our due diligence to find out what had been alleged previously. The court found insufficient, and the clerk, pursuant to statute, was unable to share that information because it's been sealed. Right. My concern was that those allegations may be similar and or different, uh, but that yeah. they should have an opportunity to review. Really? Right. Similar, similar and or different. <laughs> well, I know what he's saying, which is yeah, she yeah. she's probably lying. And, and we, yeah. we we need the evidence of all the different stories she tells. Yeah, and see if see if it's uh, exactly the same as the one that was denied. Yeah, I'm ahead of time. If we could have a chance to look at them before, we'd like to resolve this today. 
Uh, if we can't, that's fine. We're ready to proceed to the hearing either way. Okay. So those those might be inconsistent, which is, I mean, if we're going to proceed today, then you're waiving potentially the ability to see what's in that file. And, yeah. and here's the, it's this is a unique situation. And I can tell you, I, well, I here we go. It. I'm willing to hear from you. I can't even with this guy. If it was a, if, if this case started as a case number and there were multiple supplemental petitions, just like you're entitled to the September 7 petition and the supplemental from October 30th, because it's in this case. Yes. I can't find authority to, in effect, unseal or make it accessible the other case number when the when the statute and rule. Oh, just use your own authority. In. You're God, that, you know. You can do whatever case, you want. Is that because it didn't result in entry of an order and didn't get served, it remains confidential. I understand the purpose. That's actually though a good point. It has it hasn't been filed, it hasn't been served on them, so technically it doesn't exist for the hail side of things. I don't know why that would make it sealed though. I don't understand why. No, I don't, I don't she filed it in a public court. You know, it's like whether but there's it's a reason it's being not. held. Whether there's a reason it's not being served on them. It's if if it's put out for service and they just didn't get it, that this it's this is this is strange. It's it's unusual, but very, I, I'm just very saying, odd. No harm, no foul so far. And again, he's being so very helpful and explanatory. <laughs> but so many uh, words. So many yeah. words. Uh, Matt Bond, why do you drive in a parkway and park in a driveway? Why do <laughs> hot dogs come in packs of eight, but buns are in packs of six? Well, that's all about marketing and money. It's it's collusion between the buns and the dog manufacturers. Yep. Um, my question is like, why do some things you know burn up? Why you know why why why, why does house houses burn down and like bookshelves burn up? Things like that. You know. That's, anyway. Uh, thank you so much for the five dollar Aussie bucks and unhung hero with two dollars. This is a methed up case. Yes, we're, we're, hope, hope, hopefully we'll get just some messed up parts here in a bit. I, I assume we just have to wait for him to let her speak. <laughs> just just a wild stab in the dark. And bus stop person number 27. <laughs> this judge needs to be removed from the bench. He needed to retire. His call and reserve not coming through. <laughs> it's always his color, color reserve. Uh, Something ain't coming nope. through don't know something ain't coming through but thank you so much bus stop person for that uh whatever it is that didn't come through i agree it should have come through uh all right let's 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 get it on here purpose of that is Oops. so that a petitioner who is not successful in obtaining the relief is not at greater risk for having tried to do so against somebody who may not have injunctive injunction against them, et cetera. So there's a, there's a good policy and philosophical basis for that ruling. Yeah. The unique aspect of this case, and I don't know if you're advancing this argument, and if you are, I would need some authority and, and a factual basis is to effectively, it could be that this is supplemental to that proceeding mm -hmm. because it's similar in nature. And I can tell you, I, 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 can, well, I can confirm for sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm the one that denied it. But that yes. doesn't mean I have institutional knowledge of what was pled in the June 5 petition. I've got access to it. But we'll access it. Potentially, it, it would require an in-camera review of that to see if there's otherwise relevance or whether de facto kind of effectively this uh, de facto kind of, of effectively. Number, and he's the respondent. <laughs> He's now responding to the allegations. If they overlap or if they overlap and there's inconsistencies, he may be entitled to that. Oh, I like um, him at so a faster like speed. Piercing that uh, statutory me protection too. of non-disclosure. Understood. I, until this uh, arose, I had never seen a case or a situation where a party was not entitled to a plea. Uh, but that is, in fact, what exists, uh, apparently, uh, in accordance with this statute. <laughs> apparently. Uh, it was, in fact, <laughs> <existed> in <laughs> Um, but it doesn't exist other than in this new petition where she says that it exists. Uh, interestingly enough. So, Your Honor, we, uh, we'll waive. We don't I, I, I uh, think we'll he's saying, I, I don't, I don't think that statute says what she thinks it says. It may contain relevant information. If the court has access to it, we ask to, to consider it as it might, uh, well, contrary to what's provided today. But uh, I can't review it to consider it. It would not be fair to your client. What? Potentially, because I don't know what's in there. Um, and it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't fair. be fair to your client to uh, look into and read the document yeah, that our client goes, wants to. 
I don't know what's in there, he says. Well, they do. It's all a bunch of lies. So, you know. Well, I mean, he, he probably does dozens of these a day. He denies one a year ago. He probably can't remember it, what's in it. But again, it takes him 10 seconds to pull it up and look and I read know. through it. The orders are short, but to say we're, we want to see what's in it. And he's like, well, uh, I don't know if you want to see what's in it. Uh, all right. It wouldn't be if, fair if to your client. Why? In, You're going to get um, prejudiced by it? Um, exposed or disclosed to you and your client. If you're waiving the ability to get that, which could potentially give you nothing impeachment information, other relevant yeah. information that could lead to other evidence. It could be a discoverable basis, but you'd have to, in effect, what I'm going to call Pierce, what would otherwise be the statutory privilege of having it under seal. And I, I understand all that. I can see the Why is it under seal that. from if, a part? It's weird. So we're going to need to litigate that issue. And if the court grants you that relief, we're, we're not likely to proceed today. Very I can well. tell you, I know that that, that that petition is 16 pages in length. I just checked and, and really because I was curious because I know this one is now 338 plus 50, 388. <laughs> and so I, I looked at that just to see what kind of, not that the number of pages dictates much other than how much labor Bullshit she put in yeah. required to evaluate it all and decide to proceed. Um, and of course I could question her about it if it becomes, if, if we need it to judge, but may I have just one moment? Okay. We uh, would like to proceed today and, and resolve this matter without the access okay. to the. Uh, All right. They, they don't want to access to it. They want to go. Lynette wants to go. Everybody wants to go. They've all said, let's go. So now, this the next issue of evidentiary concern in terms of us proceeding or not proceeding here today. Because even even Megan said, let's go. Uh, here Come on, back. I don't know, it's three or four different occasions with Ms. Preston, who in her petition also refers to evidence which obviously the court hasn't received or reviewed in the form of i think a hard drive or, or a thumb drive or a zip drive or something like that um i have so videos Ms. Preston, let me... i have videos with me that are on my drive on my laptop and one video on my phone okay okay and so i'm not a lawyer i'm not very good with well, well there's a legal issue but then there's also just a tech issue a tech issue so i already have our tech department prepared if need be so i and i've told you before i can't um receive um, okay, so she's got some videos she wants shown, and they're on a thumb drive. And the the judge is correct. The judge just can't take a random thumb drive from someone off the street, jam it into the court system, and pull it up. They got to go through security and virus checks and all the other stuff. Uh, they got compatibility things. It takes a while. So the judge, the judges, the the judge. Oh wait, a minute, where you go? Eh, device is not connected. Megan Fox. It says. Megan's having connection issues. Uh, well, well, while we're doing that, let's stop here real quick. And Al Henderson, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Grudge judge filed contempt against attorney Feather and another judge found him guilty in yesterday. And yet, yet we, we, uh, I, I saw a little bit of that. We'll definitely get there to the contempt hearing. Uh, it was, it was weird. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely get there sooner or later, probably sooner than later because it's, it's new. Thank you so much for, for bringing that up and uh, make, reminding me to talk about that. And Janice Wingfield, thank you so much for yours. Lynette says she's paralyzed to her home due to fearing Jeremy Hales. Meanwhile, she advertises she will drive up to 100 miles to perform your marriage ceremony with her turtles. She'll, she'll bring her turtles with her. Ring bearer turtles. She has them trained. They're trained ring bearer turtles. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. So, all right. The judge is just saying, look, the, we, we can't just take some random thumb drive from you and hook it into the court system without checking it out. You know, a zip drive or something like that, plug it into one right. of our computers. Um, they've got, it's got to first be viewed by our tech people to make sure that it doesn't have any kind of bug or whatever in it before we open it because it'll destroy our system and we're not going to do that. I've got the equipment to do that. And if we're going to, if we're going to deal with presentation of that type of evidence, it's going to take a break and I'm going to call my tech guy and he's going to describe, and I think what I'm going to do is plug whatever you He's have. got an oh, IT yes. goatee Brad. Before it's ever made part of our system or downloaded, and I may use maybe using improper tech terms, but nonetheless, we would have to. He's like, he looks like 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 an he's somewhere between like an aging Gallagher and like the amazing Randy. It can't be late, and we're wasting a lot. Sure, we got an authentication issue as well. He uses gavel to crush walnuts and and cherries on the stand. Ms. Preston, let me let me just ask you in terms of do you have witnesses present with you today? No, um, I had witnesses. Oh. But the letters that I provided to you that were from those witnesses to stand up for me, 
he posted them online and gave out all of their personal information. And so they will not come. They don't want to be a target. All right, so what? That's horseshit. Consider those letters. The, her, her witnesses don't want to come because he posted their information online. Uh, it's part of a public that. record. Well, it's part, even if it is, it's part of a public record. It's, it, it's publicly available. If they were going to show but, up in court, then everyone would know who they were anyway. Yeah. And I, I'm suspecting she doesn't have that many friends. <laughs> not if you can't use them. I mean, they're not here. You can't defend it. They were just letters of support on some of them were fans well, that are no longer his fans that so, seen what he did. So letters of support process. don't mean they're witnesses of the um, facts. Are you aware of what she's referring to? They're part of the 338 page submission, um, which are letters of support, etc. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to deal with that issue, which is a lot of hearsay issue on its face. Yes, sir. But so I know the court didn't consider them. Um, and so, you know, it is what, well, what it is. I know it's, it's kind of maybe it's hard to the court considers what's submitted um, no. in a different context when I'm reviewing a petition Allegation for a temporary relief than than when I am here in the case. So um, just like I can be the person I did a couple of search warrants this week, I could potentially be three months later, the judge on a motion to suppress. Right. Legally minded friends, Karen Cole. Thank you, Karen. Compartmentalize or change hats and look at it a different a different analysis. Um, so especially if you're not relying on those and those witnesses are not here, it's likely those are all hearsay it's fine. and they're, they're not going to be relied on. So my question to you, is just a matter of logistics. I got one other case substantively. I just want to make sure she just said she doesn't need them. Deal with tech issues, or whatever timing issues. So you have no other witnesses, correct? Not at this time. John, right. my, this is the time. So, so we have, I have a child that has a life threatening metabolic there disorder. We, we cannot leave her with anyone. So, so she's in the car. Keep, keep her safe that way from catching the Spoilers. virus or some kind of illness. So I can't have my other witness come because he's in the vehicle with the child. Okay, that's where I'd say, oh, my God, if it had been spoiled a second ago, Megan Fox. Sorry. But uh, ma oh, my God. Ma'am, go uh, and get your child out of the car. So sitting out there just, you know, is, is somehow better than sitting in a climate-controlled courtroom in the back somewhere. I guess. Uh, and I need to go out and change the, the, my witness is watching the kid. That's her, the guy she lives yeah. with. Yeah, yeah, but still, that's just weird. It's a weird thing to say. So basically, the long, the, the short answer to the, her long answer is no. I ain't got nobody here as a witness. It's fine. It's it is what it is. Well, all right. You might have given me the reason, but without the answer, which is <laughs> really, I just want to know if you're the only witness. I'm the only witness for today. Okay. Yeah. What about Mr. Feather on behalf of Mr. Hales? Do you anticipate any additional witnesses? Uh, Your Honor, yes, we have uh, three other potential witnesses. Okay, and, and forensics or other evidence? No, sir. Okay. Testimony. So um, I'm inclined to, to address this issue of whether there's like an, I'll call it an authentication issue to be addressed first on whether the tech is going to come in. Um, we may end up having to take a break if, in fact, those items. Um, Dude, get on with it. Those are very pertinent to what I'm saying and why I need a protection order. All right, and so, I, 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 again, because I've reviewed the petition and this is better, I don't think it's any surprise or prejudice. I think you're relying on you, what is referred to as YouTube videos? Um, one video, no, I made, I made myself uh -huh. um, of something that just happened two, not even two weeks ago. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Um, another one is what ha a video that I made at a, for a meeting of our town hall meeting and something that Mr. Hales did to me in that meeting in front of everyone. So do you have the ability? Did you say something mean? You said you had your computer. You have the ability Sounds to play like those it. on your device. Yeah. Another, do you want access to those before they're played? Yes, yes sir. That's okay. So what I'm considering, maybe just um, pass you guys for a moment. It may be that we don't have to deal with the tech issue. It may be that there's not a basis for authentication. It may be that there is, but you've seen them and not been prejudiced by them being presented. So why don't I pass you guys for a few moments here, and I'll, I'll address Ms. McKittrick's other case. It's the only other one remaining on the docket, and we'll focus on you guys. Yes, sir. Okay, so, Ms. Um, so again, we Preston, we can't the, take your case right of, now. Basically, both sides knowing what evidence there is, and we can right. fight about it as the case goes on, but it'll make it tedious. It may be that each uh, side sees it. Tedious? And says, okay with it. We just have a different. Did someone say tedious? Really um, and I don't know. So it could be um, helpful for you if you could boot that up and on the break and. Um, Where would you like me to do that? Show you guys can just step right outside, and, and Mr. Feather, as counsel for Mr. Hales, will take a look at what, and then we'll reconvene. There may be objections, there may be stipulations, and so um, let's at least uh, address that at the time it will take for me to address this other case. All right. Okay? Thank you. All right. You guys can step outside. All 
All right, that's the end of part one. Um, so we're, we're 17 minutes into a hearing where literally the first thing out of both parties' mouths was, we're ready to go right now. Uh, and he's still not ready. No, he's not. Uh, every time he opens his mouth, he gets farther and farther away from being ready to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now they're reviewing the video they're, they're to see the feathers looking at the video to see what videos are there. They're, they've got to do the... Uh, the, the 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 virus checks and whatnot, and uh, then I guess I'm assuming I'm hoping maybe possibly they'll get it here, but we've <laughs> no Megan's laughing again. I mean, you know <laughs> no, no, <clears throat> no. Uh, All right, anything good, Jeff? Nothing good. I, I can tell you that. No, no, nothing's ever good. No, why can't anything be easy for me? All right, so we're, let's start with uh, part two here again. We're not gonna we're, we're gonna be watching this for another hour and fifteen minutes, so uh, we should get about halfway through this, and we'll we'll do the other half tomorrow. And and once the the, the Hannah Gutierrez trial that I'm covering immediately after this is expected to wrap up Thursday or Friday, so starting at the latest next week, uh, I'll be on my normal time, which is uh, nine a.m. Eastern, not eight a.m. Eastern, so. and then we'll, we'll have more time together too. We won't be limited to two hours. All righty then. Here we go. I'm sure I'm, I'm sure this is where everybody gets along. All right. Ms. Preston and Mr. Hales, 38-2023-DR-416. We've got almost 1,000 viewers and 400 likes. Come on, people. While you're waiting for shit to happen, hit that like button. Do me a big old favor, please. I'd appreciate that if you just lick the like button. Sma- smash it like a wild tortoise. Right, <laughs> On a highway. Petitioner, Ms. Preston is back. Mr. Hales, the respondent, is back present with his counsel. Mr. Feather, this is case 38-2023-DR-416. When did Rick become a judge and what did he do with Morty? He just looks like if Gallagher had lived a few more years. Or Amazing Randy right, trimmed so his beard. During the break, um, Ms. Preston, were you able to um, show counsel for Mr. Hales the videos that you intend to rely upon? A couple of them, yeah. I haven't had, had a hard time with my drive, but I got, I got it open now. Okay, Mr. Feather. Your Honor, I was able. She was able to show me two uh, videos that she uh, intended or indicated she that she intended to uh, use today. I'm not sure about the relevance of them. But <laughs> I think she can authenticate them. I don't know why the hell she wants to show them, but all right. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, Ms. Preston, if you can raise your right hand. We solemnly swear or affirm the testimony of the given this cause will be the truth, whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Oh, well, help me, God. Does Does God help her tell the truth? Some Something in me I says no. I don't think no. so. God, God is God has left the building, has he? <laughs> Pretty much. And unless she means the only one true God, Godzilla. Run! It's Godzilla. Yes. Sorry, right, so that was that was completely Preston, gratuitous. Um, you are the Shame on you. In this matter, you filed the petition on September seven, and then supplemented it in October. Just cause says no, but meth does. Petition, the first petition being fifty pages in length. The second one, 338 pages, at least as to the parts attributed to you making statements of things, not the attached exhibits, which would include police reports, witness statements, character letters. Those are other people saying certain things. Yes. The things that you've attested to in that petition, are those things true and correct? Yes, they are. Okay. You're corroborating that here today? Yes. Okay. Um, With respect to... The, the petition, it appears JK, do you that you a your Methodist minister <laughs> is stalking you specifically in effect what, what the court would do. the turtles do testify? <laughs> Not that um, Susan is okay, so, okay, so it may be both in kind of in person, but also via communication or computer and or including social media. Yes. Okay. She has what turtle grip pussy pal on her relationship phone. Oh. Else have other than this case. Absolutely none. Okay. All right. What describe for me, if you will, just the property situation of how you guys are set up in Otter Springs. Do you be, are you neighbors? Otter Creek. Otter Creek. Are, I just call it. We have 
have property on the same road, but our driveways are quite a ways away from each other. Like, like, give me a sense of distance. Two blocks. Okay. Maybe, maybe a little more. So prior to what you're complaining of. So they're not right the across the street. Pretty Is close. Anything from your perspective, she's not. You believe precipitated. She's not saying it correctly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And what was that? All right. What happened? Um, we didn't have any problems at first, but his relationship with the Grangers is part Ooh. of what started it. Um, I think that's the other the, neighbors that Tug um, said they hate. <laughs> Martha came to our property know. one day to get bread because I was giving them bread for their chickens. And she made a comment to me. that now, you, you, you have chickens, don't you, Megan? I do. Do you feed them bread? Sure. If there's really? Old, yeah. Lepto I feed them leftovers of everything. Well, They're I, They'll eat anything. Oh, because because when I, I used to raise like parrots, and I said just never give them bread or rice because it expands in their stomach and kills them. I guess oh, that doesn't well, apply to chickens. Cooked rice you can give them. Yeah, yeah. Cooked, just not raw. But yeah, bread. Um, all right. Chickens love bread. Yeah. All right. Thought that was weird, but all right. Guess not. No, they eat everything. Yeah. So so far, nothing weird has happened. This judge is just being a scholarly old gentleman. He may talk a little bit much, but he's a really great guy. Oh, God. Who, who is this? Martha Rizk, his girlfriend, whatever she okay. Rizk, came okay. to my property, and we were talking about the property, was giving her bread, and she said, well, with John being who he is, I have a problem with my ex-husband being <laughs> verbally abusive. Well, that's kind of probably why he's your ex. I never hid that at all. Um, and I have a tortoise rescue, and I have my daughter has a life-threatening metabolic disorder. Yeah. And Okay, new shot game. Every time she says life-threatening metabolic yep. disorder, everyone take a shot. It's pretty terrible. <laughs> it's going to happen Martha made every a comment couple to seconds. Me and she said, and he, she said, well, don't you think it would be better for you if you gave your little girl up for adoption? What? And I told her that I thought it was best she left my property right there and then. And I think that, along with me running for a seat on the board in Otter Creek, is where it started. It was right at that same time of voting and of that incident. That's when it, did. it all started on. So is she, did she win? Is she, is she like on the city council now? She did not win. <laughs> well, there's like eight people in town and she can't win one of four no. seats. <laughs> nope. She did not win. I can't imagine there's a lot of slots or a lot of people to vote. on. It seems to me like Otter Creek can be one of those places where you go, look, we got a blank spot on the board where you just fucking just just do it. That's how I got to be on the school board here like 20 years ago. They're like, Nobody wants to be in the non-parent position because it's not paid. Uh, you're my friend. <laughs> do it. And then 20 years. Later, yes. All right. She's uh, she's apparently not liked by a great number of people. So. Uh oh. <laughs> M MG Law says, I will drink more than an effort Friday show. Everywhere we go. All right, so let me let me attacking me everywhere I get time here. You have a uh, daughter. Yes. What age? Four. Okay, and are you currently a um, seventy-five registered official? voters? No. Nope. Right. Did you ever become one? No. Nope. Okay, at the time you're saying at or about this time you were running for elected office? Just a seat on the board, yeah, to help out our creek. All right, but I guess what I'm getting to is to, to some extent you were- The first order of business is to change the town's name to Tortoise Creek. I don't know about that. Well, did you, did you hold yourself out as a candidate for public office? As a candidate, yes. Okay. I ran with Tree Springer. Okay, what do you mean you ran with? We were doing it. Together we were in a gang first, together. Uh, <laughs> Vice president, president, the Portis gang. Two separate seats. No, there was a bunch of seats open. Okay, so you guys were running it at or about the same time, but you're yes. running it to be an independently elected. Yes. She's supposedly sixty. Of, of okay, so 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 okay. The, I the the judge seems to be doing a good thing here. He is he he is essentially saying she's a public person she ran right. for public office she's doing stuff in public and you have a whole lot more leeway what you say about public people than you say about private individuals correct so. i was impressed that he did that but then yeah. but then See? i lost but then i lost all my respect for him because 
he doesn't follow yeah. through with that and tell her what it means to be a public person. I'm sorry, ma'am. You have to put up with online criticism. <laughs> so I, I, I like him so far. Where do things go wrong? Let's find uh, out. Let's Four find of us out. kind of said right. we were going to do it. So you hear something that caused you to react in a certain way, which was Very to go read. <laughs> child for adoption. But it, maybe I should give my baby up for adoption. Okay. And I just told her, I said, I think you need to leave. Okay. Just so be done. somehow I don't think that's how that conversation went. Relevance. No. How does that tie into the issues you're complaining about, Mr. Hale? Because right after that is when all of the online attacks started, attacks. the filming of our property started, everything started. Uh, the announcing to 600,000 viewers that I'm a meth addict, <laughs> that I'm abusing my child. Well, and, are you? Um, I, I know. I wanted to ask that. I, the judge should have said, well, are yeah. you? Just a second. Well, first of all, filming her property. From the road. Is yeah, that, uh, that's, 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 uh, that's part that's, of living it's, on a road. Well, it's part of living on earth. Uh, yeah. you know, it's, it's out there. It's public. And and people can, they can film your house and even put up the house numbers. Uh, so, all right. Who are, you, who are you saying announced you're a meth addict? Jeremy did to his viewers on a video. Okay, so let's describe, if you will. You're saying let's you're describe aware your that Jeremy has a a website, or what does he have? YouTube and Facebook. Okay, so he has a YouTube channel. Yes. And he has a Facebook page. Yes. What's the YouTube channel? No. What the hails? I'm sorry. What the hails? What the hails? H A L E. He's like, what? Why? She she just swore in my courtroom. Say what again? Oh, oh, okay. Yes, like his name. Yes. And the Facebook page is same thing. And how do you, how do you access the YouTube channel? I don't go on his YouTube. I go on how do you know? People now that he's got all these this all out in the world. Messaging me daily, right. sending me stuff. Up, then. If you don't have access to his YouTube channel, I do. Okay, you do. Oh. How do you ask? For God's sake, do you or don't you? <laughs> he put everything on his Facebook and YouTube page. How do you access Facebook? I don't. <laughs> I don't. What about YouTube? I don't. You don't. I do. But I. Uh. <laughs> Let's give it a whirl. Let's give it a whirl on my phone. Okay, and you can view what he posts? Yes. Or what, how do you attribute what the hails to Jeremy Hales, the individual who's in court here today? Oh, that's a good Is question. His, you too. Because it's Does it. you have his picture on it or anything? Yes. Okay, so you know it's Yes, yes. God you, damn it. You're believing it. <laughs> I know it's his, yes. Okay, why do you know it's him? Because they post on it every day. They do their videos on it every day. Him and Martha. Okay. Stuart? It's Martha. Martha Risk, his girlfriend. Okay. How many how many folks? You mentioned something about 600,000. Where did that number come from? He has 600,000 viewers, followers. Yeah. yeah. Spoiler alert. Not all of your subscribers watch you. <laughs> and he's posting right. derogatory information about you? Absolutely. And you're saying it's untrue information? Absolutely. That's the important okay. question there. And Because if she is a meth addict, the case closed. Does that, other than, I guess you're saying it affected you negatively, what impact has it had on you? All right, I'm seeing a, a crack in the in in the the judge armor here. Now, okay. I, I still think he's saving time and and helping her out a little bit more because she's representing herself. To, he, he's. He's asking her the questions that he needs to elicit. You know, he's trying to elicit from her so to, to move it along as quickly as possible. But he's kind of right there on the edge of doing her job for her. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 right now, he's just collecting the information, the basic information he needs. But I, I think we're kind of like right there on the line. Mm hmm. So it's 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 and I, I don't end I I honest to God don't envy this guy's position where he has to walk that line between lawyer and judge he, he because he doesn't understand the law he has to explain it he has to get some of this basic information out but if he starts advocating for her then we have problems 
Um, um, the one that's almost ended my tortoise rescue from the continual lies. Even the though tortoise rescue that never up, started. He yeah. sent fishing game to my property <clears throat> and had them. I like this part. My property because they said I was killing, not feeding, not taking care of my tortoises. Okay, so hang on. So you're saying that he made false accusations yes. to game and fish. Yes. Game, game and fish. And fish and game, dumbass. They they gave me a warning about the size of our pool. So now, it was, so it was a legitimate yeah. call. Yeah. So he called and you, you lied to fish and game and gave them false information. Yeah, but they told me I had a problem in my pool. <laughs> well, <laughs> then it wasn't false information, then, was it? Uh, uh, it seems to uh, be they actually found some problems to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right. The only okay. thing I needed to change was the size of our pool. Okay, but that's their, their, they're conducting their investigation. They're following their responsibilities and they gave you a warning, correct? Right. Because you were doing I mean, shit if you're wrong. You're disagreeing with their warning, like they had no basis to give you one. That's fine. You can go fight that. But I'm no, saying, no, that's not what I'm right. saying. He, no, he I didn't, didn't disagree. Know. He didn't know about sizes of pools. He didn't turn me into them for that. All right. So, oh, oh, so, so oh, she she should be a lawyer. The false information wasn't about the pools. It was about something else. Mm. Uh. No, the problem is you call the fish and game people and you go, hey, she's got some messed up tortoise and turtle situations. They're in, some, they're, they're in the bad straits. And then they go and investigate and they go, oh, well, you no, know, there is something wrong there. Mm -hmm. she's, 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 she's trying to be all clever. That's false because he what, they, what he said was wrong wasn't what was wrong. Right. Why am I sounding like Hoggle from Labyrinth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hoggle. All right, let's go. Your, your claim is he makes a false accusation. It results in an investigative agency coming to your house, investigating, resulting in a warning. And that's that's not the bait. That's not the end of it. Okay. Uh, Maybe this uh, is where journalist Turtle that, Boy that was held for 60 days. That, hang on. That <laughs> okay. So I want to take it a step at a time because okay. you, you I'm sorry. Someone should check. And at one point, I think in your petition, you said you had difficulty in narrowing it down. So I want to try to narrow it down. And counsel's going to ask you questions. You don't have a lawyer here to ask you questions, so I'm trying right. to derive the information based on what's yeah. in your pleading. Okay, exactly. That's what I was saying. So <laughs> she lives in the bog of eternal stench. Makes a complaint with her best friend fish. Ludo. They come mm, Ludo, they smell bad. Not to the fishing game, but to all of his fans. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute! Oh. Wait a minute! So wait, she. <laughs> The complaint is that he makes a complaint to Game and Fish. They come out and they give you a warning. Not only to Fish and Game, but to all of his fans. Oh, now add all of his friends. A, a second. He okay. made turtle allegations to all of his fans. What? But you're saying you, all, it, you almost had your rescue shut down. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. I, what? Like That's it, what I you said. I wasn't getting shut down. I mean what I said, and I said what I meant. An elephant is faithful 100%. Uh, sorry, the horn hears a who there for... <laughs> it's sad that my son is 23 years old and that Dr. Seuss fucking book is still seared into my brain. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's kind of what she said, though. <laughs> yeah. This, this is like the third time she said, I said that, well, I didn't really say that, but, you know, something happened. <laughs> I can't. I can't use it the way it's supposed to be used. Why? Because <laughs> his fans won't allow it. What? What do his fans the do? The minute, if I were to post at every rescue in the United States, you become a 501c3 for the purpose of getting donations. Oh. Dog, uh, dog place places that sell uh, keep dogs and what? and help what? dogs and all that. They run on on a on a donation basis. That's why people do it. Most it's not because they love do dogs, do they do it pocket. for the money. You yeah, exactly. You can't right. help so that you have, animals. You have a 501c3. I have a 501c3. It's a non-profit company. It's good with the USDA. I'm registered with the USDA. Right. I have every, all my credentials are good, up to date. Okay. And, and you're saying 
his actions are interfering with your ability to conduct that operation. Yes. She has a class Not three a tortoise reasons. wrangler license. Okay. So I'm trying to find out. <laughs> you're here trying to get an injunction. You're right. Not, you're suing him for the damages that he may or may not have caused. Yeah. So, um, what do his do, what? Well, his well, fans went. What, his fans well, are doing things. <laughs> why do you attribute? Yeah, he's the only guy. Okay. Again, I'm liking this judge so far. This guy's yeah. good. He's uh -huh. like, uh, what the hell are you talking about, crazy old tortoise lady? Oh, just make some damn Jeff. sense here. Just wait. See, I, I, all right. We got 1194 people. I think you're all trolling me. You're all trolling me. This is a good judge. You're all right. You're all trolling me. Not trolling. All right. Nobody's being <laughs> trolled. All right. Let's find out what she did or didn't do. Oh, Lord. Oh, well, while we're paused here for a second, uh, chicken in the bread, picking out dough, says uh, Nancy Joe M. Thank you for being a member for 13 months. And uh, Dara the Wholesome with the $2. I, I want my $2. Looks like Karl Marx must be why I feel so hungry. What? Oh, what? Oh, because <laughs> they're star he's starving them. Yes, that uh, makes oh, sense. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that makes sense. But see, if you thought of him as Gallagher, you'd have like free crushed fruit to drink. Uh, unhung here with the two dollars. Roses are red, crystal meth is blue. <laughs> <laughs> We're in New Mexico. I like tortoises. How about you? <laughs> uh, and Brick Cormier with the five dollars. This woman is arguing for the oldest legal standard, but I really want it to be this way, so just side with me, judge. I want an Oompa Loompa now. <laughs> I want an injunction order now. Get one for me, Daddy. Get me an Oompa Loompa Get injunction order now. <laughs> All right. Well, now, now that we've futzed through that, it, it's time for the first doggo snack, which means we're halfway to visible doggo snack. Ooh, giving. doggo snacks. Yoda. Uh, Yoda. Yoda. <laughs> Ganji. Ganji Mogoron. Ganji. Oh, oh, God. That's my finger. Uh, <laughs> All right. Yoda's not coming for snack time. I'll just throw it out in the hall. <laughs> Yoda is still upset with you. I can tell. Yeah, I, th I think Yoda crashed on the couch. His loss. No, no snacks for you. Uh, Vulpy Fox. Her pal does the wrangling. Uh, it sounds like her pal did the leaving. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's uh, let's continue to watch this here. <laughs> Because he posted, he's been, he's posted hundreds of videos. There's, there's, how there's, dare the last he? Time we counted videos that had anything to do with us. It was 180 videos. Okay. And what, <laughs> what are they? They're on YouTube. They're YouTube videos. Of what? Uh, he, he posts, he does lives he, and he makes videos every single day. Uh, hang on, I hang gave, on. Just give me a sense. You, so are they videos of your operation? Yeah. Okay. Videos about us calling us meth addicts, child abusers, tortoise killers. Turd <laughs> <laughs> lady. Turd lady. T -U -R -B lady. lady. <laughs> Not T U R T lady. Doesn't this remind you? I'm met now, L I E, like I'm a liar. This reminds me of Laura Owens. Right, so uh, oh yeah, like, totally. Like the, Steve so called me a dumbass. You personally. <laughs> like, this is, this is, this is stupid. Yes, it's very stupid. It's very, very stupid. And, and, and Billy ba ba pulled my hair and, and pushed me into joint. <laughs> oh my lord! This is a sixty-year-old woman whining like a little bitch. <laughs> yeah, you Lynette. He's calling you L I E Net Lie Net. Okay, now yeah. now it's official. I can He's call her Lie Net. Calling you a child yeah, abuser. He says that I'm a psychopathic. Psychopathic. Truth liar. is an absolute defense. Right. Sociopathic liar. And that you're. That's you're also a an a protected killer. opinion. Uh, that I've killed yeah. tortoises. Calling someone a psychopathic liar is a right. is an opinion. He claimed that to his followers that we. Well, he claimed that run, run, I'm run, well, run, 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 psycho the killer. Of the hur at the, when the hurricane hit recently. Are you sure it wasn't a turdicane? Because I have Munchausen syndrome. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that. If that happened, congrats for throwing out the Munchausen syndrome. Uh, right? Hails. I know. <laughs> 
That's fine. Maybe, if you if you got Munchausen's, Florida is the place for it. <laughs> Apparently. And left the I got a hospital for people like you. And he, in that video, same video, posted that somebody should go in there and let them go. <laughs> nobody was there. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy Hales. <laughs> Let's say, let's say you break into her house, and I'm not saying to do that, or break into her enclosure because that would be illegal. Let's say you're, you 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 wrangle up all the PETA people you can find, and you <laughs> you break into her house and you 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 free the tortoises. How far do you think they're gonna get? <laughs> you're gonna get, and they're just gonna sit there and they're look be at on them. the road outside the house, just looking <laughs> bewildered. In about four days. But you have to understand Jeremy. Jeremy has this really funny <laughs> sense of, of yeah. humor and sarcasm and satire. And like the, the video that they're going to play is so funny. It's him singing the song about her property yeah. and how terrible it is. <laughs> and then like anyone, the judge, I'm telling you, I give him no points. I award him no points for not laughing at that song. <laughs> no point. And also not uh, realizing that it was satire. Well, Let my turtles, turtles go. go. <laughs> so I, 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 see, rather than the church version of that, I, I, I want to think the the Ferris Bueller's uh, "Let my Cameron go" thing. <laughs> Let my turtles go. Uh, uh, yeah, she, she, she's the Moses of the turtle world. <laughs> All right. Protect them. Well, John was on the property the entire time. What? My baby did get sick and have to go to the hospital. Why? She got RSV and another what? childhood RSV virus. A respiratory virus. When I took virus. her to a doctor's uh, appointment, unfortunately, very bad this year. clinics aren't clean, as you think. That's where you get germs, and my baby caught two viruses. Right, so hold, hold on. So, Step at a time. So, you... so she went to the hospital and got sick, eh? Which is like the hospitals Part are one of, of the... The hospitals are like one of the, the, the one of the dirtiest places in the world as far as the sure. air goes. Uh, like, seriously. Dang. <laughs> Again, the, okay. I like how I do like this poor judge. This is his origin story. Uh, something is going to go severely wrong here. Because <laughs> yeah. right now he's he's still going. Now, what the fuck are you talking about? Let's, <laughs> let me the let me try to gonna... figure out. The thing that's going to go severely wrong is that he is going to get somehow butt hurt by yeah. Jeremy Hale. Well, let's find out what it is. Holy uh, Nick Starro. Thank you very much, Nick Starro, with the 50 sexy uh, Swedish monies. How many videos are there now, tortoise lady? <laughs> she's, she doesn't view it, but yes, she does, but she doesn't. But so yeah. oh, crazy. I've decided Please. to start working on my tanning salon. My tanning booth <laughs> is on the way. Great. <laughs> oh, is, she, is there such a thing as a crazy tortoise lady? Like she, she's like the Simpsons cat lady. She just got like twenty or thirty <laughs> tortoises just hanging off her clothes, and she's throwing them at Jeremy across the street. <laughs> on, on at least one of those hundreds of occasions, Jeremy discloses something that, in part, is true: that your child was sick. Yes. However, you're not the blame. You're, no. It's your position. Right. Okay. He said he said that I physically right. make her sick on purpose. So get, to get me a place to, to go in a hurricane. Get <laughs> me to why do you attribute the actions of his quote fans to him? Yeah. Because right now I don't have jurisdiction to do or not do anything about his fans. He's here. Right. So, because he tells them if he wouldn't have started posting all these things about us. No one would even be talking talking about us, bothering us, doing anything to us. What what does he tell his fans? He tells them that I have tents of meth addicts living on <laughs> my property. Is it true? I have, he told tents them I have no septic addicts. system, that we were, we were living and wallowing in septic. <laughs> he said that, um, Jesus, there's... Hang, hang on a second. So, but, so there are people who read... What you're saying is untrue. Watch his videos, yes. And then they're acting upon it. Yes. By doing what? Contacting us. They've contacted every agency that you can imagine. And so as he, and he admits it on the video, and I have a transcript. Okay. They've called CPS, Child Protection Services, so, got called so many times that the governor got involved. Okay. 
I doubt that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, governor never gets involved in CPS issues. Especially never. this governor probably doesn't get involved in anything ever. Yeah, she's um, shit. Yeah, I'm calling Full horseshit on the shit. On, on the governor getting involved in crazy tortoise ladies. Yeah, that didn't tortoise happen. Farm. Did not happen. Of all the things that never happened, that one never happened the most. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure there's a few other families in in uh, in Florida that have had more calls to CPS about them. Mm-hmm. Uh, that the government didn't. The, the, the governor didn't get involved in. That's that's stupid. Uh, Janice Wingfield with a ten dollars super chat. Jeremy calls her the turtle lady because she doesn't clean the turtle tank, and they swim in their own feces sludge. Oh, delish! Oh. The pools that's for delightful. three tortoises are full of feces too. Well, there's that's a that's charming. Ugh. Ugh. And Island with the two dollars. Okay, but who's actually going to rescue the turtles? <laughs> Who speaks for the turtles? A DCV Titan. Do tortoises carry salmonella, or is that just turtles? They I, do. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I assume they carry you know amphibious things. Uh, Dara the wholesome. Squeaks likes the meth rat. Squeaks like a meth rat. What did she name her turtles? Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, and Raphael. <laughs> <laughs> also hungry because Karl Marx equals communism, Jeff. <laughs> uh, all right, let's let's get on with it. We're we're about twenty five dollars away from doggo cam right now. Just for those of you keeping score at home. Not because I'm still begging for money and likes. But by the way, hit that like button while you're down there, please. <laughs> and subs too. <laughs> Subscribe. Reports to DCF that are false. That's a crime. Exactly. So have all those people been charged with crimes? No. It, Why not? You can't so, get anybody to do anything about anything. Okay. But you said the governor was involved. To get me to do <laughs> to protect me and Jeremy. my family. To stop Mr. Hales from doing videos about us. Talking about us. Driving by and filming us, telling his people to film us, leave us alone. All right, he's filming you. Are you in public? In my yard. Okay. Now, in, front kicks. Your, in front of your house. That one time was in front of the house, but no. In front of your shack. shack. Yeah. See, I, again, if, if if you guys are like thinking I'm serious that. I, that I really actually do think the judge isn't weird, insane, crazy, and overstepping. I do. I'm just making because he's seeming really rational right now. He's like, well, he's he does like, in the beginning, yeah, and it's I like uh, yeah. I, I was I was riveted when I first watched this, and I've watched yeah. it like five times now. So, which, which but, is why I just didn't but, want people to think I actually held the beliefs I'm I'm, es- I'm espousing. I know something goes horribly wrong here, but I right was now, you know I was riveted by it because it was like this is a different guy than who we've yeah. seen in these later hearings. So what the hell went wrong? And right. I'm thinking something must have really gone wrong. But the truth is, it's just him. He goes wrong <laughs> for no reason at all. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yes, I'm, just, I'm just waiting. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. Uh, this should be fun. And Jinver with a 20 pound. Wow. All right. Thank you so much uh, for the for the dog trauma. And uh, that that means that we have reached this particular little part of the show that uh, we like to call Release the Hounds. Ooh, the Hounds. And we've got, uh, this is, Strawberry hasn't come back. I mean, I'm sorry, Yoda hasn't come back yet. Uh, Yoda, Yoda's still butt hurt. <laughs> crazy, wow. crazy tortoise lady is a rare subspecies of crazy cat lady found in the South and Southwestern <laughs> United States. This is Louis Cuevas. Thank you so much. And Born Sinner has gifted five Legal Vices memberships. If you're one of the lucky people that got one of the five Legal Vices gifted memberships from Born Sinner, thank you so much. Give, make sure you give Born Sinner a super special thanks. And Jen Verve, okay, we've got the dog trauma and Unhung Hero. This is one of the most Florida of all Florida cases ever. It's true. That is true. Uh, all right. So this, this is, oh, my God, I just about dropped the, uh, the, the wine glass full of gin tonic. Oh, this is this is strawberry here. This is strawberry. Uh, oh, and then also, sorry, Yoda, you're really missing out on the snack train. Do you want a snack? There's a snack Yoda's, for you. Yoda's still mad snack. at you. You want the snack? Go get the snack. There you go. Yoda's mad for getting into all his creases. He doesn't yep. like that. All right. the The difference is pre gummer and post gummer. <laughs> no DCV Titan. That is not the. I don't know what the difference is, but that's not it. Thank you. All righty. That's uh that's that's doggo cam, and we'll keep that on for the rest of the show there. Just uh well 
she eats her snack facing away from the camera because she likes to embarrass me in public. <sighs> All right, let's go. We're in our property and they're filming it every day. By unlawful entry on your property? No, or driving her? by, filming our property and us but, on but a- But that's legal. Day. We, okay. I can no longer go outside and play with my child. We don't ride her Mack truck on the road. Plant some we trees. We don't go for walks on the road in her stroller. We don't four -year -old you shouldn't go on the road. Shed area in our backyard. You should not all. go on the road. He's posted yeah. her in her diaper on YouTube and on Facebook. Okay, no, they did that. She did diaper. that. I don't know where he mm. got the, pic the, the picture he got. Could it be from your child being in the yard? She was in my, in, you can't, you cannot see my child in her yard. I think Jamie posted a picture of my daughter online. Oh, so my friend Jamie, mm. your friend a video posted of her something party or whatever, or her playing in her yard. You want more snacks? Huh? Not too bad. You have to wait. Access to it from other <laughs> social media. Your mother's social media. Yeah. More snacks. Her dad. And, her and started accusing us of throwing dirty diapers on a road in Otter Creek. Okay. So, <clears throat> well, did you, let me get you to where Mr. Hales may or may not be responsible for this. So he's saying things people are acting upon it he's telling them they should if you're not calling cps his exact words then i don't know why if you're what? not calling fish and game then i don't know why he says he admits himself that he and martha have called several times themselves so you she just wants an order saying that he you can know, never open his mouth or use his vocal cords ever or use his fingers to type things. If you believe About her. what I'm saying, you should be concerned enough to call. Right. He's because it, how would they, where would they get these ideas in their head if he wasn't saying she's beating her kid? He said that his employee saw me slap my child across her head. Okay. First, oh, you know, I'm I'm not really having the hardest time believing that that may have occurred. Me either. She she sort of looks like a slapper. <laughs> she uh, does. Slap on, slap off. And Just according to her stepdaughter, at least one of her stepdaughters who has a YouTube oh, channel, yeah. she was very abusive. So that's what one of the stepdaughters says. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. And that there was a big family uproar when she decided to adopt this baby because they all were like, you should not have a baby. And why are you getting a baby? And do they know what you're like? And that's on YouTube. Her yeah. own stepdaughter says that's what's going on. So, yeah. Look, you know what? Here's the thing, Lynette. Nobody would yeah. talk about you if you weren't doing this kind of crap and like yeah. putting yourself out there. She's put herself out there. So now everyone has a right to comment on it and have yep. opinions about her. And they can be nice opinions or they can be, you know, unfortunate opinions, but they're opinions nonetheless. And Alan says, where's her lawyer? She doesn't have one yet. She she gets one very soon. She doesn't have one yet. And well, Jackie with the 20. To be the yep. judge's best friend. Yeah. <laughs> and Jackie with the 20 pound uh, empty super chat. Oh my God. I hope you didn't have, I don't know if you meant to do that. Uh, if, if there's something you had to say, say it. You know, just just don't don't send another super chat. I'll scroll down and look for it. Uh, but thank you so much for the twenty pounds. And uh, oh, Shoina, Shoina Baumgartner, thank you so much, Shoina Baumgartner. She's keep, she's keeping the child disabled for money. Eeks. Yeah, let's uh, honest to God hope that's not the case. But yeah, oof. Uh, that's that's rough. Yeah, something tells me it's true, too. Uh, she had piles of crappy diapers and rotting food. She did hit her. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of the conclusion that I get to, too. And the, the last uh, thing here, she's a grifter. Uh, she seems to be that way. Not slapping. It's karate. Respect, Master Splinter. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Florida Ninja Tortoises. Right. Uh, I guess that, that gets us to it. You're just going to be a fat little doggy. Well, you're already fat. You're going to be a fatter doggy, aren't you? Get the, get the strawberry. Mmm, delicious. All right. All right. Let me see. Yum, 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 yum. All right. Let's get back in gear here. It was the maintenance man at Town Hall. Then it was somebody else, and now he claimed in a video that it was patients 
his um, social worker employee saw me hit my child at the the the. We need um, Sally Smith on the case. The she candidates. can do some good finally. Saw me slap my child across my, her head. Somebody call Sally. And <laughs> yeah, I'm all for it. All over the internet. That's what started the child abuse. Okay. Stuff. Have you been found responsible for child abuse? Nope. All right, been so, closed so twice. So you're saying what? what? All <laughs> Did it she was, wait? It was Did she just say it's twice. been closed? Oh, been closed twice. Yeah. I thought she, I thought she said nope come close twice oh <laughs> no close okay the cases twice. were closed out all right <laughs> i was like oh my god <laughs> that's not what you want to say tortoise queen oh i, I uh, that's what it sounded like to me it's like been close twice accusation yes you're saying that it's interfered with your business operation your 501c3 everything he's doing is is hurting my life my and lifestyle it's... me my daughter so sue him daughter. for damages okay. not an injunction and he's creating um hate interference with hate. your enjoyment hate. of your property yes okay and he he's created a hate crime oh. okay where's that hate from? crime he a hate crime that i never made they're, they're nothing I've ever even seen. They're in a font I never use. And it's some conversation between me and he says on the She doesn't understand yeah. that people can yeah. change We're, their fonts. This information well, it's, <laughs> it's all on video. She doesn't understand people can like, change their fonts? No, like, you know, like, okay, so some of these screenshots people have taken of her messages to other people. She yeah. doesn't understand that when you're on Facebook, you can change your font, and so even mm. other people's messages will come up in that font. And she's all, "This is a font I've never even used." Oh dear. Well, if somebody else is taking the screenshot, it's going to be in their font, idiot, not yours. So. <sighs> all right, I, I see what you, I see what you're saying. All right, let's go. But how are you attributing it to Mr. Hales? He posted the video on what? YouTube. Yeah. On his page. Yep. And he says that. But is he posting something that. He's also posting was on, screenshots of it. But is he posting something that's otherwise on some other media format? No. I don't know where he got it. He made it. Well, then you don't know the. I guess the answer is you don't. No, it's know. on his. It's from his channel. He Shut the fuck podcast. up! <laughs> yes, I do, because I never created it. I never said it. How, how can, why he not? He said that the woman contacted him and gave him the conversation between me and this woman at some women, women's battered shelter that I've never been to. I've so, never been to a well, shelter. who battered the shelter? Come on. It's a shelter for women. Who battered the shelter? People shouldn't have to go to a woman's battered shelter. They should be going to a woman's very nice shelter. <laughs> this shelter that she gave me $2,300 or $2,200 to leave John. And I what? robbed her, <laughs> I took the money. So and in what? that conversation, I supposedly called him a gay fag <laughs> and called him <laughs> a Whoa. Well, <laughs> oh, so Jeff, you forgot to take that down. You oh, think? <laughs> I forgot that that was coming. Oh no. Well, now should we just apologize to YouTube? This is a um, this is a, a court proceeding, and we can't control what is said in a court proceeding. This is a woman who may or may not have mental illnesses, and may or may not be uh, addicted to illicit substances. You'll have to forgive her, YouTube. Forgive her, YouTube. Don't take it out on Jeff. Wow! What well, yikes! Okay, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay then. Oh dear. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's cleanse our palate here. It's pretty terrible. Unhung here is a typical CPS. Take away the kids whose parents want to help their kid, but leave the four year old with a meth head. Allegedly. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Unhung. And Cherry Adams Adamski. Adamski, however you wanted me to pronounce that, I apologize. Cherry, what's up? Uh, she wanted the notoriety for dollars until she got it. She got the notoriety, but she didn't get the dollars. She says, that's first, first, you'll get the money. Then you get the power. 
Then you get the win. Uh, Janice Wingfield, thank you so much. She posted signs all over town claiming Jeremy is a child rapist and graped her daughter. Fudge. True story. Well, Jeremy she claims she didn't expert. do that. She claims she didn't, but, you know. So Jeremy has else? a handwriting expert to testify she wrote the signs. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I'll just tack an allegedly on there for because I don't know. Holy crap. Uh, Tony Montagna was right. Wow. So th these people clearly don't like each other. And again, uh, this is something I said yesterday. We, it's funny to us. We're watching, we're watching you know, shenanigans, courtroom shenanigans, funny, but this is like a real judge doing real shit. And this is a dude who spent 80 to a hundred grand on this nonsense so far. Mm -hmm. So there's real world things going on. Uh, so I mean, it, it it is serious, but you know we're, we we have the luxury of being able to make fun of it from far away. Yeah. Oof. Luckily, luckily Jeremy has a good uh, attitude about it. Well, anyone the N word. Well, that we're first you get the money, black, then you buy the meth. Asian, <laughs> everything I don't. Then you don't have the money. You go way far afield. So yeah. you're arguing, not testifying. I don't mean I don't mean to be. Well, I mean, want you to I want you to provide testimony. Your testimony is that he's lied in labeling you things that you're not. Right. Including but not limited to a child abuser, tort tortoise killer, turd lady, <laughs> now you're putting in thief. Yeah. Um that you're a child you know, you've made your child sick, um, et cetera. Et cetera. Uh, but the, syndrome, the question the question is though, he's doing or... that. And people, as a result of that, are taking action. Because he's making money from it. That, the views that he's getting on YouTube have tripled his income. From what? From what people have sent me okay, that have analyzed well, that he's making fuco money out of doing dirty deeds on YouTube. And <laughs> dirty deeds. Dirty so deeds done on Facebook. In yeah. <laughs> you being the fame. The villain. The villain. It's like a soap opera. And they're, they're playing into it. And if he would stop doing it, we'd get left alone. Okay, so let's get back to run, 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 tortoise killer. I have a feeling asking these people yes. if he stopped, she'd be in a fight feud with somebody else real soon. Testify yeah. that he's asked people in kind of a rhetorical way by telling them. If you guys don't call DCF, fascinating story. Fish, Any chance you're nearing the I end? I don't know what's oh, going to compel you to do so, if not this, these lies I'm saying about this woman. Like he's shaming them that they'd be less than something. Why is I he guess, pontificating about this? Yeah, that's this. This is he's I, he's giving her words to say, Jeff. Yes, this is that, that's that's uh, that's why I brought in the in the Witcher there. Uh, he's now he's kind of crossed the line. You, he says, oh, let me let me fishing. summarize what you should." Yeah, he's like, "You're saying this in this way and this." He's putting he's he's putting words. He's crafting her argument. He's crafting her statement. Yes, and and she is just agreeing. Oh yes, that's what I meant to say. Yeah, this I have a big problem with. Yep. Again, before when it was just, you know, eliciting the testimony and telling her, I have no clue what you're talking about. Stop talking crazy talk and answer my questions. <laughs> I got that. But this is like, okay, this is what you're really trying to argue, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This is what you're saying. Uh, yeah, this he's advocating for her now. Mm -hmm. so I got I I just got a problem with this. <sighs> so frustrating. How's the tanning bed coming? <laughs> not well. I'm I'm not finding the pieces that I need. I need to go downstairs and get the rest of my stuff. <laughs> All righty. Oh my lord. I got yeah, the bench yeah. built where I'm gonna put the perf. See the bench is right here yeah. where he's gonna stand up and peer over the top. So the perv will be in the blue tanning bed. <laughs> And the woman, the poor victim, will be in the orange tanning bed. And then we'll have a desk out here with a lady sitting out here. Mm -hmm. Sounds I may reasonable. Need to, I may need to widen my floor plan. <laughs> uh, wow. You, uh, uh, I, but I'm, ask, I'm just asking you because you know, you're not even be dis disputed here. 
Is he asking them to call or is he saying, I yes, can't he believe did. you he guys did. know. No, this he told call. them, he said, as people need to call, you need to save Harley. I have the screenshot. It says save Harley right Harley? on his page. My daughter. Well, saying save Harley I and call it. someone this are, are is kind of all different, different things. Posts from Mr. Hale's page that are against us, only against us. It's every day. And since the Ohio court, it doubled. So well, these signs. Hang on a second. Let me, you, you referred to Ohio court. I believe you attached as part of your supplemental petition a temporary injunction issued by a court in Ohio. It was made true. permanent two years and he, he perjured himself in court. Not one thing he said there was true. Well, hang on. You, you, you've got lots of remedies in Ohio. You're telling me now you have a two year injunction against you? Yes. For what? Cyber stalking and cyber bullying. Well, wait, what? I've never been in Ohio. You yep. mean the same thing you're trying to get from him? And that mm. wasn't the red flag. It wasn't a red flag for this judge. Nope. Nope. Mm. He's, he's fine with it. Totally fine with it, Jeff. Mm. All right. See, I would be like, oh, this sounds a little bit retaliatory to me. Uh-huh. Wonder if her lawyer is aware she already threw him under the under the camper van, telling police he advised her to be at town hall breaking George's order. Hmm. Wow, that's a that's clearly something that happens later. But uh, I hope her lawyer didn't tell her to go somewhere to break the the the, the protective order because that would be wrong. Yikes! And if it is, if it is wrong. That lawyer kind of has a duty to come out to the court and go, my client is an effing liar. <laughs> I did no such thing and I would never do such a thing because I am an officer of the court bound to follow the judge's orders. And I certainly wouldn't risk my law license to tell her to do this. So, yeah, that, that might not be so good for her. <laughs> uh, and Scott Gulen, thank you so much for the $5. Megan. This grudge, yeah. the, the, this grudge was appointed in 2019 after losing the 2018 election. This year will be his first attempt at re-election. No. no, he's not up until 2026. Unfortunately. There you go. <sighs> Enjoy, Florida. Enjoy. This is what you get. And we're not. Well, that's the it, that's the issue of cyber stalking. Right, we're not, we not, have, we're, not, but I'm not doing that, and I can prove that. Well, but the judge thought you did. You can prove that you so? can do that, the Ohio judge would have thrown the case out. There you go. See, the, the, the judge has come back to, the judge has regained his sanity. He's, he's become lucid again. <laughs> yeah, for, he has small moments, and then he screws it up again. He's like, uh, yeah, I don't think that's actually what happened, lady. He goes from believing, he goes from thinking, yeah, the judge would have found her not guilty to, oh, the judge gave you a raw deal, you poor baby. What? Where does he, what? With no evidence. Mm. No evidence at all. Only for a moment and the moment's gone. Thank you, Robert James. Use the ones I just told you that he created that I never made. He used And so one. you're your affirmative defense of, yes, he has those and they look like me, but it's not. No, me. it doesn't look like me at all. Okay, <laughs> so, uh, all right, take that back. Whatever See, stop putting had, words in her mouth, Judge. Played itself out in you know, Ohio court. I could, we did not get a chance to rightfully defend right, ourselves. So that, kind of like now. made a bad decision. For him. Yes. Okay. We the were not. Made a bad you did him stuff before we even came. Oh, my God. Why on earth is this judge letting her interrupt him every five seconds? Oh, uh, and he does it. He continues. He does it constantly. Yeah. He allows her to do it. And do you think he and he doesn't allow Jeremy's lawyers to speak at all. So I don't know. <laughs> Well, they, they haven't really had a reason to speak yet. He's still trying to figure out what in God's name this lunatic is talking about. <laughs> He's not going to be successful. My God, she just won't shut up and stop it. I mean, even even nice, mild-mannered judge should at this point be going, would you just shut up for five freaking seconds and Look, listen I've to my heard, questions? I've heard judges say things oh, like, yes. if, if you interrupt me one more time, yeah. I'm going to have the bailiff over here come over and tape you to your seat. You know, like, just be quiet. 
But yeah, you're, you're delaying things. It'll go faster if you just shut up and answer my questions. He even lets her interrupt him when he is speaking to the other attorney. <sighs> to court so he could look at it right. and make a defense. We never got that. All right, let's, so let's go. So here's the thing. He so, said that we made these. Oh, oh shut up. up. So these? The rules on jurisdiction to take action against somebody who never stepped foot in, the, in their state, long arm jurisdiction. There's it's, rules on that. There's, there's lots of rules on that. Did you raise the issue that he had the court in Ohio judge? You have no jurisdiction over me. We yes, we tried to tell her that. Okay, you we tried to argument. tell her that. <laughs> we tried to tell the judge she didn't couldn't do this, and the judge she just did it anyway. That means you lost, biatch. <laughs> we tried to tell her, but she just was too stupid to understand that I'm right. Gotcha, bitch. <gasps> Did you make the argument, Judge, you don't have enough evidence to find me responsible for cyber stalking? Yes, I told and her you that. you lost that argument? Had... Yes. Okay. I mean, when I did... tried to tell. Would you let him fucking talk? Good Lord. Oh, my God. She's not going to let him talk. This is going to go on like this. Okay, so should I stop? Time. Should I stop having anxiety about it? Yeah, it's going to continue. All right. Okay, great. Shut the fuck up, Donnie. Okay. The judge didn't consider... All she kept evidence. telling me it wasn't about me, it was about him, and I needed to just basically be quiet. <laughs> so, in other words, a good judge. A, a good judge. Oh, no. Not like this judge, but a judge oh, that no. saw through her bullshit. <laughs> yeah, what did she tell you? Shut she up. told me I needed to be quiet. Because <laughs> you do. <laughs> I like this. This ain't about you. Just shut your trap, okay? Bad judge. Uh, <laughs> God in heaven. And hilariously, he starts to believe that that she got a raw deal with this judge. Because, uh, you know, he's nice. so magnanimous. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's watch this unfold. We've got about... Uh, 15 more minutes. We'll watch 15 more minutes of this, then we'll wrap it up tomorrow. Same bad time, same bad shit. Crazy channel. Jeez, it's already 9.30. It is. How time flies when you're just on the edge of your seat dealing with psycho nut jobs. Opportunity to be heard. <laughs> Basically, yes. Denied your argument on jurisdiction, denied your argument on insufficiency of evidence. Yes. And entered a two-year judge judgment against you. Yes. <laughs> okay. Have you appealed that? Um, I called up there to try and appeal it. They told me it's not appealable. Uh, it's probably because you waited too long. Have the, you filed a notice of appeal? The, the, no. I tried to. The court lady, I asked her, what do I need to do to file the appeal? She said, I said, do you have a form? Do you have something I need to fill out? She said, I'm not allowed to answer that question. I'm not an attorney. Smart lawyer. Smart, smart clerk, court clerk. All right. So, so because I am yeah. on disability... And I raise a four-year-old little girl who's disabled as well, and I can't afford an attorney. I'm stuck with a two-year two order against me that I did not do. That was that was gotten with fake evidence. Right. You gotta oh my God! I'm smelling I'm toast. I'm not. That's nothing to do with here. Well, it does. I want to deal with what's going on judge, here. A judge of oh my God in another state has entered an injunction against you. For cyber stalking the person that you're saying is cyber stalking you, it could be he that did both it things after are true. I applied here. It could be that both things are true. It's retaliatory. Oh, what? Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, you're saying that's what I'm saying is I've got to accept full faith yes. and credit that there's yes. a ruling in the court that's not. He, he has to accept and live by the Ohio court decision, but he won't. <laughs> appeal that's not been reversed on appeal that's not even I want to appeal it I'll well, follow her backwards to appeal it being appealed yet. I'll and follow her backwards so it just that means it could be a situation two people at the same time could be cyber stalking each other yes okay that's that that's that's perfectly possible okay so and I'm not you're cyber saying, stalking him we don't well that's what we're here to I don't about. post nothing Nothing. Well, you, well, no, you you are cyber stalking. You know, they, they said you, you cannot do that. And do not do that. So if you're not cyber stalking, that, that's good. You're following the Ohio court order. So shut up. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I think I've discovered 
the 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 judge's origin story. Th- this is his villain origin. I, I I think we've reached the point where he turns right here. She just talked to him talked to him until he went crazy. She just literally drove him insane with her ramblings. That's what it is. He was he was just normal, nice, caring, normal dude. good yeah. gu- good judge. You know, being being very very lenient with the parties, having a very good attitude, trying to get to the and she just fucking drove him insane. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's all that happened. Just just talked to him until he's like, oh my god, I can't take this anymore, and he just went mad. Maybe. That's it. That's 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 my guess. On my little tiny well, brand new page, all I do is say I do not take meth. <laughs> I do not let people live on my property. I thought, I she, just said, I thought she just said she doesn't post anything. In your yeah. defense of your case in Ohio, did you... Anything I don't post, anything, moron. <laughs> reviewed his petition he filed against <laughs> Thank you, Ralph. No, they weren't allowed. They, so, they handed me one thing. So I don't know what... So Ohio, last I checked, is in the United States. <laughs> I mean, there's got to be some <laughs> semblance of due process. <laughs> letter that and i think i have a letter that he said and well wait a was, second wait a there second was nothing on it, it was, Preston, oh, I think it's he, he's gonna out. believe her now we didn't you, get the evidence well the petition asking for the injunction i read it because you provided it to the court in your 338 page supplemental yeah, petition and i didn't mm-hmm. i didn't bring that with you. Uh, oh, you didn't record, submit that to the court is, in Ohio? You had to have had it. provided with that, that I saw was that letter. Right. Well, so, but, all right. Where he <laughs> says what happened to him. See? He's just, he's just been he's driven insane. Crazy. He's That's it. crazy. See, see, guys, you should have more sympathy for this judge. He's clearly a decent, good judge who was just... Just he, the, the last straw, the last nerve has snapped. Th- this is just, she's just drove him over mind, the edge. Keep in mind that he also went to bat for a weirdo creepo tanning salon stalker. Okay. Well, was that before or after he was driven mad? Before. No, oh, okay. Never mind. Then there goes that theory. <laughs> right. And that's all a lie. Okay. So, but well, so but that's let's back up. Then you're saying you weren't confronted with what his lies were that you're calling quote lies. Well, unquote. just yeah, just, but no it. evidence like this. Shut up. So, let me ask you then. He said that you were a fan who's now started stalking him. No. Okay. He says I followed him to Otter Creek, and that is not true. I looked at my property in 2018, long before he looked at the property in Otter Creek. Uh huh. I've I been believe following that. the property for a few years. Okay. Looking he at and buying two him a different rapist. things. When nope. did you buy? That's these signs. He said that you tried to ask other people to run him out of town. No, he's done that to us. Okay. He said that at one point your ex, Mr. Cook, took a gun out that he took as a threat. Do you no. know about whether that's true or not? You might not have personal knowledge. Jeremy drove up. To our house. Hang on. I just, do you know, do you have personal knowledge? John did knowledge? not pull, yeah. So Lady you're saying County that's Sheriff not true. said it was, John did not do okay. anything wrong. I'm just going to get to the point. He lied. <laughs> He's saying you posted his address online. No, Martha, Martha, Martha. Marla Hughes posted his address okay. online. And he's saying that you put posts up <laughs> calling him a child predator. Nope. And that it's constant and ongoing. No. All right. So he's constant and ongoing. This is what I'm oh my to- god, does anybody have some meth I can do? Jesus. <laughs> Seriously, I think I'm smelling burnt toast. God. <laughs> I'm having a stroke over here. It's oh, not good. Lord. Holy crap. Oh, see, see, st- strawberries growling. St- strawberries g- giving me the wine. The, I know we're only six dollars away from my next treat. Give it to me. <laughs> uh, Scott Gulen with the five dollars is a. Oh, we we did that already. Yeah, she was pointing. This is six year thing. And Chris Roland has been a member for two months. I don't do drugs anymore. That can, yeah, that was it, it, right. Now that's the uh, uh, was uh, the Mitch, Mitch Hedberg, one of my favorite comedians. I like his deal. Uh, I used to do drugs. I still do, but I used to too. <laughs> <laughs> I too. 
Rip Mitch Hedberg. That he went into court. I just listed about 12 or 15. Or more, just in this one page. What you're calling lies. Did you tell the judge all of those things were lies? There, we we only Did you? talked about. He said, "I'm going to pull out two or three things, and that's all we talked about." I said the signs were a lie. He said that he had somebody in my family verify the handwriting. That is not my handwriting. And no one in Otter Creek has ever seen these signs. So well, I've that, never seen them. People I know that never something speculate. was attributed to you in a court of law with Mr. Hale saying that somebody yep. told him that they authenticated your signature, your writing. Yes, he said my my so daughter, you were, you my ex stepdaughter, or my family member. He said it I mean, in what court. you're describing is that you were victimized by the system by not allowing you to properly defend yourself. Yes. And, and this guy's buying this? All of your arguments yes. against it. Yes. Okay. All right. And when I tried to tell her my side, she said, it's not about you. It's about him. Gotcha. And I was told basically shut I up. I think he's just humoring her at this point. I that's don't. That's unfortunate. Let me ask you because I want well, to go. See, I, what was see, that? I think, that's I think unfortunate. That's, I think that's him validating her so she'll shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah? Well, then why does he behave like he believes well, that? Let's find out. Do these elements. Um, you've got to establish that what he did was willful. You're saying it's it's him and he's doing it intentional. Yes. Okay. With regards to um, it being malicious, you're saying there's no real there's no real legitimate purpose to it other than to annoy you or harass you. More than that. He wants my he wanted my property. Somebody, his oh yeah, his he wants that garbage dump. Property, I guess, at the same time I was sure, yeah. and I got the property instead of them. And so you think it's I retaliation think or oh. motive to get? Oh it? yeah, she got the she got the dump. She got the community illegal dump, not us. Ah, let's retaliate. <laughs> let's let's retaliate against her used futon front gate God. <laughs> and her smelly tortai pawn. And KDP with with the uh, with the ten thousand Korean one for Targi. Let's go, Strobs. Hey, 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 come here, baby. Oh, nom, look nom, how nom. happy! Nom nom nom. Ooh, <laughs> there we go. That's your last treat, you fat thing. You big, you big <laughs> potato. You big lug. All right. Let's uh, let's wrap up this here with the last ten minutes and see how far we can get. Because <laughs> I'm just having anxiety here. <sighs> you just leave? Yes, because he tells us he we have it in writing in this pile of stuff. I have it. He says one way or another, they are leaving. Okay. One way they are or another. Gonna get you, get you, said. get you one way. Maybe on next video. week. And I with, have the transcript. Um, with regards to your emotional distress. Emotional damage. In a sense of what, what has caused you. I mean, here's the thing. The court needs to make a finding that there's substantial emotional distress that ordinary people are not easily impacted despite being annoyed, inconvenienced. It's not just annoyance. Okay, so it's that's not. what I'm... Okay, but we, we, I thought we established that she's a public person because she's running for office and things like that. She's put yep. herself out there as a public person. Now yep. she's being treated as an ordinary citizen. Uh, all right. I, well, Hale's lawyer is going to have a chance to, to raise that particular issue. Uh, well, no, nope, no, he won't. Well, okay. nope. In theory, if he were allowed to speak, he, he would have the ability he will to not. Go. He will not be allowed to speak. Uh, uh, lovely. <laughs> Thank you so much, KDP, by the way, for the for the Korean money. The real, the only real money in the world. The only money that makes sense. Oh, uh, my Lord. We've got 1,470 people here and 858 likes. Smash that like button. Let's get us up over 1,000 likes before we finish. That would be super, super awesome. Wooter Van Putin just turned in, just tuned in. What the F is going on? I don't know. <laughs> we don't I don't know. know what's going on. There is no way to summarize this one. You just got to go back to yesterday and catch up on four hours of it's stuff. It's not good, whatever it is. 
Uh, yeah. So let's get us up to a thousand likes. If any of you haven't subscribed yet, please do it. Make sure you go subscribe to Megan Fox. I think most of you are probably here because of Megan Fox. Uh, but you know, make sure you get over to Megan.locals.com and uh, Megan Fox writer here on YouTube and subscribe to her. And we're getting closer her. to a tanning salon situation. <laughs> tanning salon. <laughs> look, there's even a hook for clothes. Look, see. Oh well, there you go. Realism. Yeah, we're getting there. She's she's a public nuisance. <laughs> Just so we can get her condemned. Just look at her. She should be condemned. I'm asking you. It's way bigger than that. It's way bigger than that. But I get tell people, me how. Lois Thomas, I'm a Lacey fan. Hate Destiny. watching Jeff. <laughs> they go on my rescue, my tortoise rescue, and they oh. write the nastiest things that you've ever seen. Oh. Okay, but I'm talking about the actions of Mr. Hale. Right. The Did poor he ever turtles. Ask people post nasty things. That's what you do when you're a YouTube. When you're on YouTube, <laughs> what? You're telling that's, what you, that's what you do when you're on YouTube. You post nasty things about people's turtle farms. I've literally <laughs> never. I get maybe I'm doing YouTube wrong. What does that even mean? I don't. Who knows? That's what you do when you're on YouTube and have a lot of people. Oh my lord, this woman, I can't. 100,000 people, all of these stories on and on and on. Stay tuned, find out at 5.30 what happened, the update. He, he said that he, I have it right here on paper. By the way, people, he stay says, tuned tomorrow gonna, for the update to find out what happened. Rip, rip me to shreds, or basically whatever the wording is, the Florida you, judge is going to rip you, her to shreds. You're shed. pointing to me? Huh? When you say you, you're going you talking to me? Are you talking to me? I don't see anybody else here. Are you talking to me? You, oh, he's going. You he's going full taxi yes, driver. It's on paperwork. It's constant. It's it's every day, and these people are angry. They're like angry you? because they're these are people that they love and they follow, and people get addicted and obsessed. He's got friends. And that's I what don't. I'm trying to prove to you. He's obsessed with doing this to us because it makes him financially rich. Okay. He's making so much money. Yeah, out well, out you know, that's just like uh, <laughs> your opinion, man. So you got to tell me the impact on you, not what he's doing, because you've told me what well, he's doing. Yes, I can't. I can't buy or sell anything online in my in my area because all of his followers will write nasty things after everything, after any posts we make. Well, yes. ma'am, maybe you should think about the actions you've taken in your life and what led you here. Or maybe just change your IDs. <laughs> so they don't know it's you. Yeah, like open up a different Facebook account. Jeez, I don't know. Wait till it blows over and lay low for a while. Anybody caught up in these things online, all you have to do is get offline. Lay low. Yeah. It will go away. But you have to stop reacting. <laughs> go tidy your garden, you nasty witch, says Liam. <laughs> Yeah, that yard uh, can use some cleaning up. The, the Chuggy Show. I don't understand what's going on. I I, I don't either. <laughs> I really don't. All right, we'll go like two more minutes, then we'll, we'll shut it down until tomorrow, which is kind of good because I cannot take this woman for another hour. Um, I've been called a scummy cunt. I've been called... <laughs> oh, didn't, see, didn't see that one coming either. I missed that one the first three <laughs> well, times that I watched this, by the way. That's I the first that. time. This, that should be on a t-shirt. No, it shouldn't. <laughs> it should be on the turtle, the turtle farm t-shirts. Oh no. I brought them. Um, I've been called a scummy con. See, I now she doesn't know how to monetize this. Give your baby yeah. back to the biological mother. If I were he her, I'd monetize the shit out of that. He yeah. supposedly talked to the grandmother, and the grandmother of my adopted child lied to him. Of course she did. She's a drunk. The mother was it was <laughs> like a, my baby was almost aborted twice. I got the baby. She's one out of six <laughs> kids this mother don't have. I want you to he posted all of that online, sir. I, I, on the, I, that's in your petition. All of it. You, it's in your petition. People hate you attested me. that what's in the petition is true. I, I, I trust, I believe, I've accepted what you're saying. Yeah, they hate in your me. petition is that he posted those things. Well, yes. Let's get to. I don't hate her. I just think she's 
uh, entertaining, but I don't hate her. And I don't think most people hate her. I, th I think she really yeah. is internalizing this to a degree that is beyond. And well, like, this is a good, perhaps yeah, she should take a step back off the internet. Yeah, th this is a good place to to to, to stop here. The, the judge has reached maximum. This 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 is where he lost his mind, by the way. Yeah, he went from from doing like what I was saying, you know, the reflective listening, the uh, you know, you know, validating her opinion. I said, oh yes, I understand. To saying I agree and I believe what you're saying that he posted this. Show what, what evidence has she presented to to prove that he actually posted these things? And cyber stalk. What evidence? Who cares yeah. that he posted things? Yeah. What evidence of cyber stalking? What evidence of mm. stalking has she given to this judge? Zero, zero, none. So that we, we, I think, I think this is the minute where he's officially crossed the line, saying, "I, I believe and trust what you're saying is true that he posted these things." When I haven't seen any evidence, he hasn't mentioned any evidence. He hasn't said I've reviewed and I see that, you know, all of the uh, the, you know, the bylines and the to and the froms and the you know, it sh shows it was from him. I I haven't seen that. This I don't. This is this is where I don't like him officially, right? And that's why I think that's a good place to stop, <laughs> right okay. here. Uh, well, I I hope I can be yeah. with you tomorrow. I may not be able. Up to, to you, but we'll uh, we'll I'll try. We'll leave the. I gotta lobby. run because I gotta go start my yep. stream. Me too. Uh, I, I've I pushed it back to like, I've pushed it back to like 10, 15, because I need to go get some more Legos that I need. So I'm going to go dig through my Lego pile and then I'll start my, start my stream. We'll build the Lego set. We'll build the tanning salon. We're going to watch hearing number two. We're going to watch the hearing that comes after this. And if you were hoping that maybe Jeremy would get to tell his side in hearing number two, you would be shockingly disappointed. It still <laughs> doesn't happen. But it's a pretty interesting hearing, and the judge is pretty off the hook crazy for the whole time. So come on over if you want to watch hearing number two. Uh, I think MG Law might be stopping by. DUI guy might be stopping by. And uh, I think Valhalla awaits. I may get him to build Legos with me um, while we watch this shit show. So come on over. All right. Thank you for being here, Megan. See ya. Appreciate it. Appreciate you taking time. All right, we've got to wrap it up because I've got my next stream starting in one minute, which is the Hannah Gutierrez trial. We're going to automatically feed right over to that. If uh, if you get sent over there, automatically wait. It'll take me a couple of minutes to get things going. If uh, you don't get sent over there, there's going to be a little blue box that pops up and says, something's happening over at Legal Vice. Let's click here and find out what. If that doesn't work, please just... Uh, just double check, search for me, and go over there. We're wrapping up the prosecution's case in chief on the Hannah Gutierrez Reed trial. She's the uh, armor that's on trial for her role in the shooting and killing of cinematographer Helena Hutchins by Alec Baldwin. We will watch uh, yesterday's afternoon session and today's morning session. And uh, that's what we're going to do now. Before we go, though, Vince Clortho, who's been a member for nine months, says, I feel sorry for her. I, I, uh, I don't. She needs help. She's not getting it. Uh, I just don't feel that sorry for her. Just Don Solis Ginger, member for 15 months, says, I'll take two Scummy Cunt Turtle Sanctuary t-shirts, please. <laughs> now I want one of those, damn it. I want one of those. All right, everybody, we got 1,100 of you here. Thank you so much, all of you that stuck around to the end. Uh, 960 likes, 40 of you. Just real quick, hit that like button, please. Just 40 of you, smash that like button. Hit the uh, subscribe button on your way out as well as we go on over to the next stream. And if you have subscribed, double check to make sure you still are subscribed. I will see you over immediately starting right now on the uh, Hannah Gutierrez read stream. See ya. We'll see you tomorrow. Same time, 8 a.m. Eastern for part two of the first hearing. This is me, Larax, on behalf of me and uh, Strawberry and Yoda saying good night. Catch you tomorrow. Thank you, Mods. Thank you for, the, for all of the generosity. Thank you, Chad, for being here. Bye now.